how BGP routes are advertised to peers or neighbors. There are many ways to advertise uh, routes to uh, neighbors. One is uh, you basically issue the network command under the BGP uh, instance or under router BGP. So this is this is uh, this method is used to generate BGP routes from the uh, AS, so uh, locally originated routes. <clears throat> and number two is redistribute IGP or interior gateway protocol or configure a static route. And number three is issue the aggregate address command under BGP, under router BGP. And of course, uh, propagate the uh, routes, BGP routes learned from other IGP, IG, IBGP, or EBGP peers. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just uh, you know, do the network statement uh, with a mask and how or how routes are announced or advertised with redistribute command and uh, lastly is how routes are advertised or announced using the aggregate address command using the yeah so I have this topology here I have basically R1 and R2 and R1 is in AS1 and R2 is in AS2 and this is the network between them R1 is 10.10 10.10.10.1 R2 is 10.10.10.2 and they are actually already neighbor neighbors let me just uh, I was checking earlier so if you do that command uh, you see that you know R1 is uh, has an IBGP peering with R2 Same here, and of course the you know the R1 is using this uh, interface to communicate with R2, and R2 is using the same interface actually. So this is the current configuration of BGP or BGP configuration. Looks like I have to remove this first. Let me remove it. Because I mean this. I want to show the oops. Okay. Oh, also this. I was testing the, of course, I was testing this myself. So check again. Okay, look, looks good. Um, R1 is not advertising any routes right now. And we can also verify that, well, this is actually received, but here R1 is, should be good, yeah. So it's not receiving any routes from R. R2 is not receiving any routes from R1. Okay, so let's start um, routes announced or advertised. I'm gonna say advertised using the uh, network statement with a mask. So in this case, 
this network should be in the routing table. So from R1, that network should be in the routing table before R1, R1 can actually advertise that in BGP. So looks like that network is in the routing table, which is this. And this is actually a static route pointing to node zero here. Okay, so now I will advertise that into BGP. Okay, and then I will clear to make it a little faster. Out. And let's see if R1 will receive it. Yeah. So, I mean R2. R2 is now receiving that route, this route. And if we do this command here, it says that it's being advertised to update groups. And that. So, uh, this means that you know, uh, R1 is uh, originating this route, or basically locally originated. I mean, this route is locally originated by R1. That's why you see this next up here. And we can actually use this another command, this other command. Yeah, so we see that uh, this this network is being advertised by R1 to R2 here. Okay, that's it for network statement. That's um, one way to advertise routes to advertise routes uh, into BGP. And the other thing is this. The other one is this, redistribute IGP or a static configuration. So that's what I'm going to do, routes advertised. That's what I'm going to do next. One, two, three. Okay, so let me check the so that net network is actually from loopback zero this network here and I think I already configured it yeah it's already here so I'm what I'm gonna, just gonna do what I'm just gonna do is advertise that route into that OSPF route into BGP oops And we clear. Clear BGP IP. Was it? 10.10.10.2 soft out. So if we see here, now R2 is receiving that route. And Actually, add this here. And if we check this, I mean, we issue this command, we will see that that route is being um, advertised by R1 using redistribute command or redistributing it. It is being redistributed by R1. And one way to verify that here from the uh, BGP table is this here. So it says when it's when it when you see question mark it says I mean it means incomplete or we have redistributed that uh, that network or route into BGP and when it's I 
meaning that we used a network or I believe aggregate uh, statement, ad aggregate address, was it? Yeah, uh, commands. So yeah, we will we can verify that later. But uh, now we had verified that you know uh, this network is being advertised into redistribute or redistributed or being advertised to R2. Yeah, we can see that from uh, R2 as well. Next is, yeah, that's it for uh, that uh, for redistribute, redistributing, redistribution. No, redis, redistribute. Um, so that's. Uh, number two, or another way to advertise advertise routes into BGP using redistribute command or redistributing IGP routes or static routes into BGP. Okay, number three is routes advertised using the aggregate address command. So aggregation can be performed if at least one or more or the specific routes of the aggregate address exists in the uh, BGP routing table. Okay, we, we will verify that later. Actually, we can do the commands now. And of course, these routes should be in the routing table as well, right? Yeah. So basically, I am aggregating or summarizing these routes here. 192, 168, 33.0, 34.0, and 35.0. And the uh, address route, address aggregate address is uh, this year. So this is slash 22. So aggregating, I'm aggregating these routes into a single route this year, 32 from these three, these three routes. So let me do the commands. Okay, so it says here, so we, we can now verify if this is true. So I have issued that command and I will just do that command, clear the BG uh, position. So we were not receiving that summary, summary route from R1. So looks like this is working as expected. So aggregation can be performed if at least one or more of the specific routes of the aggregate address exists in the BGP routing table. So we need to actually uh, like advertise a one of the you know longer routes in BGP in BGP so that's what I'm gonna do here so no wait let me let me check the let me check the BGP table first <clears throat> it uh, let me do this first Hold on. oops It looks like aggregate address command is working now. Here. I was expecting that, you know, uh, let me see from R2. Yeah. So that's not 
actually correct because as it says here aggregation can be performed if at least one or more specific routes of the aggregate address exists in the routing table I in the BGP routing table and we don't see it here oh, there we go so for some reason the command that I did here earlier yeah this one here worked for a few seconds so now we don't see it here so I'm going to we don't see the 92 192 routes right yeah but we see them from the routing table here so what I'm gonna do is advertise that route in PGP we don't have to add mask here a mask submit mask because this is a uh, already a class A I mean class C address so if we do that command we see that the mask uh, is removed now if we let me save check the BGP table okay we see that that route is this route here the longer route or more specific route is being suppressed we see this uh, here but uh, this route here is the one that is being advertised valid so let me go to R2 and we see that that route is being the summary, the summary route or aggregate route is now being received by R2 okay that works All right, yeah, that's it. Um, I just wanted to uh, basically lab this here, number one, and redistribute IGP or a static route, and this uh, this here, aggregate address command, and of course this here is the, this is. I mean, this happens dynamically or automatically, right? Once you once you advertise a route, for example, from R1 to R2, well, in this case, it's ABGP peers. So that's what this number two means. You learn routes from, so in this case, from ABGP, ABGP, ABGP peer. All right, yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.